Right up next, hitching a ride. After the break, we hear from the founder of one taxi app that's been downloaded more than 10 million times. All right, this is On The Move, coming to you live from Hong Kong, streaming on Bloomberg.com as uh, well as your mobile device. Now, the taxi app wars are heating up in Asia. Our next guest running what he claims is the largest cab booking app in the world with more than 10 million downloads. Dennis Wang is founder and co-CEO of Easy Taxi. It recently raised $40 million to fund its expansion and is joining us exclusively from Singapore. Dennis, uh, great of you to join us. Tell us how it, this works. Hi, Rich. Good morning. Uh, basically, Easy Taxi is uh, the largest uh, taxi app in the world. Uh, basically, what we want to do is connect passengers and taxis so they have a really good ride. As simple as that. Okay, well, so I download the app and I just press it and say, I want a car here and I want it now, and uh, you get a response, I take it. Exactly. So basically, all you have to do is download the app do a quick registration and you can just, uh, when you open the app, the GPS will locate, uh, locate you. You press a button to order a taxi. We'll find the closest taxi to you uh, and it will come uh, pick you up, right? Uh, okay. There's uh, a lot of convenience because you can rate him and uh, you can also have a really nice experience for given uh, the drivers are well trained as well. Uh, Dennis, uh, you could just raise $40 million. What do you do with the money? Yeah, so basically we want to continue uh, our operations, right? Uh, this is, uh, in spite of being a app, there's a big uh, offline part of what we do, uh, which is always uh, uh, bringing, uh, building the, the network of taxi drivers, right? Uh, as well, uh, we, of course, we want to always invest more in technology uh, so that the app is always better, right? Uh, we have more platforms coming up and uh, more uh, solutions uh, to become uh, actually a platform for taxis, not only an app. Okay, let's talk about where you, uh, which your strongest markets are and which your weakest markets are. You're currently in Singapore. That's quite a hub for you. How are you doing there? Let's begin with that. Yeah. So basically, Easy Taxi started in uh, in Brazil, right? Just so getting a bit uh, back in time. Uh, so basically, it started three years ago in Brazil. Uh, so Latin America has been the first markets we have tapped, right? So basically, now uh, the second wave has been Asia, uh, and basically we have been here for about uh, six months to a year, depending on which country. Uh, Singapore has been one of our biggest uh, markets here and the fastest growing, one of the fastest growing in uh, Asia. Uh, there's a lot of potential, uh, as you can, uh, as, as you have been here, you have seen. How how many uh, taxis are around and especially how many people uh, are used to taxing ta taking taxis on a regular basis. Okay, yeah, you, you're in Hong Kong now as well. Uh, I think it's early days for you. How, how are things faring? Because you've got a lot of competition here, not just, of course, from uh, the likes of Uber, but others. Yeah. So basically, we are also in Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong is a great market uh, as well. Uh, it's a concentrated uh, city with a lot of taxis, which makes us uh, great for us uh, uh, to serve taxis and uh, also, of course, especially passengers. Uh, of course, there's a, in all the markets we are, we see a lot of players uh, entering the market as well. Uh, but basically, we have, we have bringing this know-how on how to operate in the taxi market uh, over the last three years, uh, and it does ha give us a lot of uh, competitive advantage uh, compared to others. Uh, and of course, we're always looking to innovate and bring new things, like the partnership we have done, just, we have just uh, signed with uh, WeChat and Waze uh, to actually help these uh, markets to uh, use Easy Taxi. Uh, now, which is the market you regret entering the most? Which one did not work out for you, Dennis? Or is not working out? So, f yeah. so far what we have seen is that uh, all the markets we have entered, we have entered because uh, there was a need so for, uh, for someone to actually have a better solution to connect passengers to drivers. Uh, so basically so far uh, we, ha uh, we haven't seen any country that we uh, regret. What we have seen is there are countries that have different challenges, right? Uh, so basically there are countries which uh, taxi drivers are older so they're not used to technology. And so here what we have to do, uh, we have a bigger challenge to educate them on how to use the app. Other markets, uh, passengers are used to taking taxis, uh, hailing a taxi on the streets. Uh, so we actually have to educate and create the habit of uh, uh, people ordering via an application. So, so far, we haven't regret, uh, we, have, we have no regrets on which markets we are. It's just a matter of finding the best way to work uh, in those markets. Dennis, when are you going to be profitable? 
Well, as all startups, uh, basically uh, we have a longer time uh, to be profitable. Today, uh, as a marketplace, we're really focused on building the platforms, uh, right? So basically, uh, as a marketplace, uh, we have two communities, passengers and drivers. Uh, and we have to uh, scale both sides, uh, and, the, and we, so we're now focused on growth and definitely not uh, monetization. However, we already do have uh, solutions which are uh, monetizing, right? One of them is Easy Taxi Corporate, which we have uh, recently launched in Singapore uh, and soon to come to Hong Kong, which basically is a taxi uh, solution for companies. So uh, if your employee wants to go and take a taxi, he, it's a, cash lend, a cashless transaction for him. He just uses the app usually uh, and marks that it's a corporate ride. Uh, and basically, we will charge the company for all their rides in the end of the month. Dennis, thanks a lot for that. Uh, Dennis Wang, the co-chief executive of Easy Taxi, joining us there from Singapore. We